Now the first was in Paley Library, the second in an off-campus apartment. This now brings the number of student deaths this semester to at least five. Our Cassie Semyon and Carly Showmaker have been covering this story. Carly spoke with one of the students of the parents in mourning, and we begin uh, this morning with Cassie, who's live at the Fox School of Business. Cassie, you've been talking with students? That's right, Rob. Paytas and Orlando died within just days of each other. And now the medical examiner's office confirmed a tumble update earlier in the week that both died of drug overdoses. Paytas was a senior just weeks from graduating, and Orlando was a junior business student. Students are saying that they're shocked and questioning why the university isn't doing more to help the grieving process. We've had so many deaths and so many of the friends and acquaintances of the people who have died have come in. There have been a lot of grief counseling this semester. Temple students are mourning the loss of two Fox School of Business students. Senior Michael Paytas and James Orlando passed away after two unrelated drug overdoses last week. The university released a statement about the passing of Orlando and Paytas, saying, These tragedies have affected us all, and we send our deepest sympathies to their families, friends, and fellow students. Dr. Dominio of Tuttleman Counseling says that they are also prepared to support faculty and staff during this difficult time. Sometimes the faculty are extremely upset, usually it is the case, and sometimes the department will ask uh, the counseling center to uh, support the department. Despite the resources available at Tuttleman, Students say the university needs to do more. You know, just an email a few days after the accident isn't really enough to uh, help people cope with it and bring awareness to it. We never bring up the issue of the passings that happened. So really getting like a discussion about what's going on, is it'll be really like helpful for us. I think on both sides, the students and the university don't really have like the proper tools to handle it because we've been so desensitized to the issue. And I think that they could be doing a little bit more than they are right now. Now President Engler's statement reminded students about the uh, medical amnesty program that is offered to help students who may be facing intoxication or impairment. And as always, students and faculty members are encouraged to use the Tuttleman, the Tuttleman counseling services for any needs during this difficult time. Reporting live outside the Fox School of Business, I'm Cassie Simeon.